Hello and welcome to Optimal Training Group. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to pre-populate a SharePoint list form with data. So here's what I mean. This is a list, person form list that has these different columns in it. And if I click on new item, what I want to happen is that these fields get populated with my name from the user profile properties. And then it'll also change these fields to read only. And when I click on this checkbox, what it should do is it should change the values to anonymous. So the best way to do that is I'm going to be using the document object model. I'm going to be using DOM development um, to kind of grab these, the, the, the names of these values and then kind of manipulate it and, and change it. So let me go to, let me do F12 real quick so you can see. If I do F12 and then I go to my, let's go to elements and I grab this so you can see the name. So the name will always be the label. So whatever the label is here, that's what the name of these different, these elements will be. Um, but I'm just kind of showing you. So if I come here, let me click that again. And as you can see right here on the right hand side in the, um, in this elements console, you have first title is equal to first space name. So it'll be the same thing for last name. See, it'll be the same thing for my anonymous button here. See, anonymous. And I don't want to use title because, I mean ID because as you can see, it's pretty long. So I, I just use title and it's, it's easier to grab. So let me show you the code. So I have it commented out. I'll, once I'm done, I'll uncomment everything. So I have this iffy. It, executes right away so get properties here's the get properties and here's the the get property get my properties rest api and once it grabs it i am using axios which is an http um, request and if it's a success then it returns the response and let me show you what the response is in the console so let me do f12 again and the console, let me refresh the page. Uh, refresh. So give it a second here. Okay, so here it is. It's gonna be coming out of the data, so it's gonna be response that data and then here's the user profile properties but that's not what I need what I need is staring me right in the face so response that data that display name so this is the display name as you can see it has a space between it so and these are all the different properties that if in, on your project, if you wanted to pull different properties, this is it. You have our user profile properties. Um, to grab these properties, you have to create a loop. And I had a, I, I've created a previous video to show how you do, how to do that. But that's how you do it. So let me go back to the code here. So once I'm, what I'm doing now is I, I do a split. As you can see, my name was in a string, so I split it and put it into an array. And then I grabbed the title, query selector, title equal to input. And then I'm grabbing the first value in that array and I am setting it to the, to the, to, to, to the input box. I do the same thing for the last name as well. My, I don't have an email, it's blank, so, um, but it's there. And then what I do next, um, what happens next after this runs, it, it, when the HTML is done loading, that's why I have this window that add event listener load. When it's done loading, I then call this, and that's how I have the action on my anonymous. When I click on it, stuff happens. So I am adding an event listener, the click event to it. Um, so when they click it, it calls this clear field. And then what, what happens is um, if it's checked, then you set it to anonymous and then if it's not checked then you call the get properties again and then it populates it with the right name 
So let me save that and then let's go to the form and see how that works. So let me refresh and close this out. Oh, there you go. Let it finish. So if you can see, it's there. So if I do this, oh, let it finish refreshing. My page is still refreshing. Give it a second. Okay, it's done loading. So as you can see, it populates with the, my name and it's also read only. And that's what that disabled field is doing. So down here, F name disables equal to true, equal to true. And then when I click the checkbox, remember there's an event listener on it, the click event on it. So if I click it, as you can see, it changes it to anonymous. And then if I uncheck it, it changes it back, you know. So again, when the page loads, it adds the event, the click event to that checkbox. And then when it gets clicked, it calls this clear field and, and sets those fields to anonymous. And if it gets checked again, then it calls this get properties function. And it goes through the whole thing again and populates the field. So I hope that made sense. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you. Bye.